Hello, everybody. I'm recording this because I kind of want to just re-upload uh, my most popular video due to some copyright claim issues. Um, the video is called Still, They Took His Balls Away. Um, I'm glad that it created a little bit of a trend <laughs> with this specific episode from The Way of the House Husband. It was the last episode of the last season and... <laughs> I just thought it was very funny and a lot of other people thought of it as well since it got 3.1 million views a lot of likes and a lot of comments skyrocketed my channel and i'm internally grateful for that but because of the copyright strike problem i cannot really monetize my channel at all even though i want to monetize it not just for this video but for in general a lot of it so i'm gonna pretty much delete the original and keep this up um because I'm going to make it fair use by adding some educational information. But before that, uh, enjoy the video. <laughs> it's the funny part. All right, good kitty. Gina, forgive me. You're not going to like this, but today's the day. We got to take your balls away. I'm sorry. The procedure went well. Here are the two prescriptions for him. Thanks. Hey, you did good, kid. Gein. Porky. So, I've seen a lot in the comments that having your pet fixed, as they say, is bad. Or it's torturing the, uh, the animal and it's not good. And I've seen a lot of other comments that say that it's really good and it helps with a lot of stuff. I'm here to say I agree with the people that say it's good to fix your pets. Um, I come with a background that I have had a lot of pets, mainly cats. Uh, and my mother is a veterinarian, meaning that she knows a lot about that stuff. Um, and spaying your cat, your cats, or in general any pet that you have, can help reduce the risk of any diseases or any disorders that may come to the reproductive organs, such as cancers, which is the most important, or any UTI uh, STDs, uh, mainly because they are not gonna have sex. But other than that, I've seen the very valid argument that they will not pee all over your house, even when you have dogs okay, and you take them out for walks, they may still pee in the house just to mark their territory and just attract other, uh, other members of their species of the opposite gender. But that being the most minor one, for cats especially, it's good to spay them um, because we need to manage the population of cats since they are apex hunters and they can demolish populations in areas that they were not naturally existing in. Uh, has, this has already happened with a lot of species that have actually gone extinct due to cat activities and their population uh, is increasing in a lot of areas so having them spayed is a really really good option especially if they're strays it really helps controlling the population. Also, um, it may help prevent diseases that have happened to kittens, and a lot of kittens die before they mature and become adults, mostly because they live in a very unhealthy environment, mainly cities, um, and the cats are unable to provide for them or care for them. So yeah, this is my education video, spay your cats, spay your dogs, spay your pets in general, especially if they go out to interact with other members of their species. If you don't want to spay them, that is your op 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 sorry, um, that is your prerogative, you can do whatever you want with your pet. If you think that your pet is gonna be happier with having their reproductive organs intact, Keep that, keep it that way, but know that there are risks that come with that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something, and I hope this doesn't get copyrighted again. <laughs> uh, anyway, goodbye. See you.